Okay, this is the composing part. Let's see section by section. Hopefully you've listened to the track before in the first video. So we'll go section by section and we'll be uh, hiding the tracks, just, just so showing the tracks in that specific se section. First section, well, the, actually the intro, we've got small crescendo and then uh, we've got the uh, technique, quite, it's quite common of a technique, which is using the uh, strings ensemble and uh, doubling it with violins first and cellos uh, to sort of give it a little bit more definition and opening, making them sound a little bit more wider. Timpani comes in with the cello. Let's take a listen. Okay, so that's the intro, basically. Next section, we've got a lot of staccato strings and a little bit of a synth oh, rhythm synth. Just because it's a uh, first part and adding a little bit of depth, we've got a electric bass. Very subtle elect uh, low percussion hits. And uh, all together, sounds like this. Basically, we've got violins, second, viola, cello, and double bass. It's a rhythmic part. <laughs> While we've got the violins first sitting in the background. thing to notice here is that we've got double basses giving longer staccato notes and we are mixing drier strings here we can see the violins one uh, two and violas mixed with uh, with another strings a little bit more wet a little bit more of reverb and the room sound violins two and viola again but just uh, another another library sounds a little bit more wet it just it adds a little bit more, makes it feel a little bit bigger. Let's uh, take a listen to the next section where it's a little bit more noticeable. And then adding wet. And maybe the question is, okay, why not just using the ones uh, with a little bit more reverb? Uh, well, the attack of that library with a little bit more of a drier uh, strings, uh, it just... It's, it's really nice and putting them all together uh, you've got the attack of the first library with uh, with the size of that second library and we may think well if we put them all together it's gonna sound twice as big as it should sound well yes that's right but uh, again for this trailer type of a style more processed it's okay to have this uh, sort of orchestral but not really realistic orchestral sound uh, so we chose to put two libraries together, but we have to understand that we aren't going to go for a realistic orchestral sound. Let's take a listen to this part. talk about this part, we've got staccato strings, horns solo, percussion, and the synth in the background. Very similar to what we did before. And when 
we can see here it's the key switches for creating this effect of these shorter and longer staccatos let's just open the violins so we've got here is the last note it's a little bit longer this key switch activates shorter notes and this one So this is short, a little bit long, longer, and then we would have the longest. So what we get here is for that, we want this, this last note is a little bit longer. And longer notes here towards the end. instead of just adding a little bit more variation sounds more realistic because we don't have the same type of articulation so short strings this section and then we are adding the horns solo well let's take a listen to the percussion first let's add the percussion which is here and here let's take a listen just to the percussion basically we've got toms and taikos Here we've got the toms. And those are the high toms and low toms. Then we've got the taikos. You can see it's very dry type of taiko. It's a library that allows you to control the the tail, the reverb tail with the mod wheel. So if you want the full tail, up here it's with full tail. And then now here it cuts. Anyway. It's a very dry type of sound, very tight. Um, uh, close miking type of sound. Usually percussion, we won't have that much. We will, we will not have that much reverb. Um, we want the dry, you know, the dry side type of percussion that adds punch to the orchestra, but it doesn't bother and adds that muddiness in the middle of frequencies. Generally, if we actually, if we take a look at the percussion, it actually sounds quite dry, which is the way it sounds in this uh, it's cinematic type of percussion, unless it's this sort of big percussion hit the that we want for it to fill all the room sort of thing. For example, we've got one here. It's an isolated hit. It adds uh, depth to the percussion. But again, generally it's going to be quite dry. It's in the dry side rather than wet. So we've got the toms, taikos. We also have an epic frame drum here. And finally the orchestral percussion, timpani. And the sustain cymbal. And finally we've got a very, very low drum. Adds depth. 
It, you, you can hear it, but uh, I mean, it's like that, that's that thing that you can really hear, but it adds what meant. So that's without the low hit. And the, uh, now with. Without. With. Okay, so we've got the staccato strings, percussion, and then horns. And they all together. Very simple section coming up, staccato strings with um, high strings melodic line. We've got some counter lines, very simple, we've got the violins one and violas in octaves and then internal line, uh, uh, violins two, and then we've got the cellos and double basses in octaves. Uh, high line violins, and then we've got the horns that come, come, uh, come in here. we've got coming up is we will have the horns playing the melody and then the violins one playing the a counter melody it's sort of mid ground then that's gonna evolve that violins one melody in the next section are gonna go in the for, uh, foreground uh, big melody with choirs let's see that we would have the horns here violins first and second here in octaves and finally choir here. So we've got horns here, counterpoint, violins in octaves, till here. Next section, we've got everyone playing the melody. It's uh, the melody that we had before. Now every uh, now it's a first uh, foreground. And uh, so we've got violins, uh, choir, and horns that uh, will join the melody here. In this moment, that we've got everyone playing the melody. We have a, another second element playing a, a new counter melody. It's gonna, they're going to be the trumpets. New counterpoint. Those are the trumpets. Down here, it's just key switches for choir. Uh, so they sang, say they sing different syllabs. So, so again, remember uh, melody, horns, counterpoint, strings. Then the counterpoint becomes melody. And trumpets are going to start a new counterpoint.
section that we didn't explain, but it's uh, almost same instrumentation, almost same uh, orchestration. Uh, we'll have choir horns uh, playing the uh, melody. Then the long strings playing the melody. Now are, they, they'll stop and they'll play some staccatos to add some intensity, this last part. And the trumpets they keep doing counterpoint against choirs and horns. Uh, percussion is going to be a little bit more active and thicker, more framed drums. Keep the chaikos and toms and the, all the percuss percussion instruments that we had before. We will add more framed drums. We will have also snare, actually two snares. Uh, one it's going to be bigger, another one uh, smaller and drier. Uh, piatti and then tom towards the end. Always keeping that low drum hit and uh, cymbal and timbal swells for the section changes that just listen to percussion just the one for the last and last part drums they sound like this I think the taikos we will gain a little bit of punch the toms will add a little bit more of a space I think a longer room reverb tail adding that mid-size space. Then we've got a taiko hit against the wood part of the taiko, adding this longer, bigger, uh, farther space. See, it's the, it's the only one percussion instrument with that much reverb, and they are very isolating hits. Finally, to add support to this percussion part, we've got the low drum. and all the orchestral percussion. We still have the synth sitting very in the background. Very subtle behind that big orchestral part. What actually does give support to that orchestral part, it's an electric bass. So that's basically the arrangement for that last part. We'll have as main uh, elements, we've got horns and choirs playing the main uh, melody. Then we've got the trumpets, counterpoint. We've got the big percussion part. Then we've got violins adding variation and intensity with the staccato sounding to the left. And finally the percussion adding energy and punch to the, to the group. see we've got all those tracks routed to different basses we can for example see the high strings low low percussion mid high we isolate the trumpet horns
choir. That solo uh, hit, taiko. We wanted it separated from the rest of the percussion because it's got a unique, different sonic dimension. Synth. Bass. So what we are going to do is export all those tracks as uh, audio files. We'll open a new file and we'll start mixing. Uh, a little bit of a cue, cutting some of the low frequencies and also reducing some of the mid-low to avoid muddiness. We also have this analog emulation. It's a, actually, it's a magnetic saturation. And finally, the percussion and synths will have a little bit of uh, compression. Especially the non-orchestral -perca non percussion.